Secondary ignition waveforms are like a doctor's EKG printout. They can contain a lot of information if you know what you're looking for. We're going to show you how to read them next. This video is sponsored by Blue Streak. Visit standardbluestreak.com to learn more. If you do have a scope, the secondary ignition pattern generated by the spark plug when it fires can reveal a lot of useful information, if you know what to look for. When the firing voltages for all of the cylinders are displayed simultaneously in a parade pattern, any cylinder that is misfiring for any reason will usually stand out from the rest. The peak firing voltage, or peak kilovolts, for the misfiring cylinder will either be higher or lower than the other cylinders. Normal firing voltages at idle may vary from 5 to 15 kilovolts, but there should be no more than about 3 kilovolts variation between cylinders. A higher firing voltage indicates higher than normal resistance in that cylinder's ignition circuit. This may be due to high resistance in the spark plug wire, if it has one, a wide rotor gap, if there's a distributor, high resistance in the spark plug itself, often because of worn electrodes or a gap set too wide, or a lean fuel mixture. A lower than normal firing voltage means decreased resistance. Causes for this include a shorted plug wire or spark plug, grounded or fouled spark plug, an overly rich fuel mixture, or possibly low compression. To the untrained eye, those waveforms are just a bunch of squiggly lines. Learn to read the information and you'll keep your customers happy and their vehicles healthy. I'm Doug Kaufman. Thanks for watching.